Alright, here is my pickaxe development board that I built. That's back here. It plugs into the end of this socket. The main focus here is going to be this LED and this po potentiometer. Adjust the LED, adjust the pot, and you change the intensity of the LED. Let's zoom in a little bit closer for that. We're using an analog to digital converter channel and we're using a pulse width modulation output channel. So we're going to explain how the program for this works. Here's the basic schematic diagram to the development board using the PICX 18M2. I have a potentiometer connected between ground and 5 volts connected to pin C.1, that's pin 18. Down here, the LED that you saw is connected to pin B.3 or pin 9, an LED through a 1K resistor. All right, here's back at my uh, PICX programming editor. Let's, here's your program in this window, and I'm using a font size 12 to make it a little easier to see. I simply stated that this was an 18M2 chip. Uh, I'm using this at 4 megahertz, so I don't need to do anything with that. Uh, it defaults to 4 megahertz. As you saw from the schematic, the potentiometer or control is connected to C.1. I chose a word variable or 16-bit variable W0. Um, word variables, I think there's W0 through W13. These are 6-bit variables, 16-bit variables, or you have a choice of 27 or 20, I think 27 single byte variables. I designate it and this is a symbol control will be C.1 symbol value or val is um, W0 and pulse width modulation pin in this case is B.3 that you saw on the schematic. Now what do I do to set up these parent where do I get these numbers you see here? PWM division by 4, PWM pin 124, 250. I'll show you how that works. I'm going to go ahead and remove that. Leave your blink icon there. Come up here to pickaxe. Go down to wizards. Go to PWM out. I originally, okay, I know this is running at 4 megahertz. Uh, I'm using pin B3. I'm going to use it at 2000 hertz. And I'm going to leave a duty cycle percentage about 50%. Hit calculate. And there is the parameters that you're going to need. Looks similar to what we had before because that's what I normally use. We press copy. Okay, it's on the clipboard. Paste it into the uh, document. You click yes. Close. Voila! There it is. Now, that is the initialization of our pulse width modulation parameters, but we're not done yet. Let's move down here to main. Let's make this a little bit larger so you can see it better. Okay, we're down here in main. Remember that control was pin C.1. You have two analog to digital converter commands in pickaxe. You've got read ADC, which turn, returns an 8-bit value, which is the eight most significant bits. The analog to digital conversion in microchip pick, picks 
for the most part, at least all the ones I've ever used, is 10 bits. But if you wanted to use read ADC, you would get the eight most significant bits. I went ahead and used read ADC 10 of the control and val. It will give me a value from 0 to 1023, the full 10 bit range on the analog to digital converter. I will write that to another command called PWM duty. All right, um, PWM pin, it knows it's B.3, and, uh, and the value that was returned from the control val will now be written to it. This was the setup or the initialization. This is the actual writing the number 0 through 1023 to the actual pin and duty cycle itself. Pause 10 seconds and it goes back to me and it'll just keep looping through. As you saw, I adjusted the potentiometer or pot or control and it varied the brightness of the LED based on the duty cycle. And that's all there is to it. So have fun. Now that we have all this down, let's check our syntax, make sure there's no problems. All right, um, I used a whole 49 bytes out of 2048. Now we go ahead and program. And of course, if you look down at your project and adjust the pot, the LED brightness should vary with the pot and you're done. All right, let's move on and have more fun somewhere else.